project requirements to dimensionality reduction. This this week is you have a little bit less stuff to do regarding the actual project because since last week you did some foundational stuff like implementing the data set and the uh, distance measure. Now this week you will reuse them, right? Because data set and distance measure is something that you reuse with the dimensional reduction between dimensional reduction and clustering, for example. So in this case, um, all you have to do is to create a component for a dimensionality reduction or projection techniques. Sometimes we call them projection techniques. Uh, and, you know, the same as before should accept as input a data set. Optional hyperparameters as always. Hyperparameters must not be hard coded as always. Um, distance measure. The only difference here is that the output is a 2D array of points, right? So I, I'm not really defining here specifically what's the output. This is up to you, it's your framework. As long as, it's in, uh, uh, as, long as it communicates with other um, components and, and, and that you can connect them in a pipeline, the exact data model that you're using is up to you. And, and then a component for a quality measure for DR. So this is very, very similar to the quality measure for clustering. But you know, instead of taking the clustering as input, it takes the results of a DR technique as, a, as input and a data set. And then outputs a single value like this is 75% good or this is 35% good, something like this. So it's just a single value of quality. Like this is the quality of your embed, period. Um, so this, this, this week, basically that's, that's what you need. And for your for your framework, that's that that's not much. And again, as as before, I'm not going to check it now. It's just for the end of the course. So just make sure that you keep progressing, uh, because or else if you leave it to the to the end, we we all know what's going to happen. Uh, and as a note here, I have I mean as all as before, make sure that you can connect different components and test different uh, versions of each component at the same time. And also uh, make sure that this time, since, you, since you've been, since it's the second week that you're implementing your components, make sure that the components from the different weeks connect to each other. So for example, I should be able to run a pipeline where I take a data set, I reduce the dimensionality of that data set, I take the results of this dimensionality reduction and I run it through a clustering. So that's, that's actually something that people do very often. First you reduce dimensionality, and then after you get the, re the dimensionality reduction, you apply the clustering algorithm in this, in this new data set, this, this reduced data set, instead of applying it in the high dimensional. And sometimes you can get better or faster results, sometimes not. It depends on the constraints of the clustering algorithm. It depends on whether it works better with less dimensions, for example. So there are some uh, clustering algorithms that do that. And depends also on whether it is highly affected by noise. Because if the clustering technique is highly affected by noise, then usually you have to remove noise before you apply it. And reducing dimensionality is one way to reduce noise, depending on how you do it. So, so then it, a question that I put here, can you get better or faster results than running the clustering directly in the high dimensional data? That's an interesting question. So you should be able to do this kind, do, to answer this kind of questions in your, in your framework by setting up a simple pipeline where you test different things and, and see how they work, right? And with that, I will move on for the lecture.